Hi y'all folks, this is Max from uh, GalaxyS2Root.com um, So, as one of you asked me um, how to unroot your Galaxy S2 i9100 back to um, uh, unroot it to um, your carrier branded um, you know, back to completely stock So I have a method for going back to one of the ICS for the European version um, But here's how to do it for um, Gingerbread and the carrier branded um, So first what you want to do is uh, put your phone in uh, Odin mode. Hold down the volume up center button and the power. Oh, sorry, volume down and the center button and the power button together. Hold it like that for about um, 10 seconds, and you'll until you enter the download mode. And uh, there you go. Once you're in uh, download mode, hit volume up. This will get you into downloading mode, and connect the USB cable to your computer. All right, and leave it aside, and let's go to our computer. Next, what you'll do is um, go to this XDA uh, thread. I'll have links to this one, um, and it'll show you different um, numbers uh, like Germany, um, Croatia, wherever. Um, go find the um, firmer number here. So mine, mine is actually from Brazil, but I'm gonna go look for um, like a UK one because it's in English. Um, and copy the copy the uh, model number. These files are actually now inactive because due to a uh, mega upload, um, they took it all down. Um, screw the feds. Anyway, um, next go to this site called the SamsungUpdates.com. I'll, I'll have links to this one too. And then go try to find the um, the model number for for that. Um, so X. Um, so I, I put the first four letters. Um, XWKE here. So this is Android 2.3.3. You can also download the ICS, whatever. You can you can install the Gingerbread first and then update, do a software update um, to ICS. I'll just show you how to do it with Gingerbread first. So let me try to um, download this file. How do I download it? Um, here we go. Okay, click on download firmware right here and then you'll take me to this page um, your RAM, ROM is ready for download alright so I'm gonna download alright I'm gonna let it download and then we're gonna try to install this in um, Odin alright so I'll be back also let me add that if you can't find your country's um, code or whatever um, it's fine too uh, you can install something very similar to it, or you know what? Just, just yeah, just the most similar thing. Uh, you can actually flash any of these, and we'll work on your phone. I ninety one hundred is compatible. Just um, it's just career branded, just the software wise. So um, there you go. So I'll be back when this is done downloading. So it's done downloading. Uh, I'm gonna click on it to unzip it. Uh, let me extract all the files. All right. Oh, there we go. And also go ahead and download Odin uh, if you don't have it. I'll have links below. Download it. So this is the usually it'll, it'll come in one tar file or three tar files. Okay. The, um, and next, go open up Odin. Um, there we go. Um, don't worry about it. If you get a threat, sometimes the AVG or whatever uh, thing ignores that doesn't have a, a Trojan. Alright, let me let me run uh, version 1.85. Oh wait, what happened? Ah, crap. Alright, let me <laughs> let me unzip it again. Um, I don't know what's up with my uh, AVG. I'm just gonna turn it off. Let me turn off uh, temporary disable. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna disable it for 10 minutes because it's just going off for no reason. Um, and I'm going to try to run my Odin program again. There we go. There we go. There's no virus. For some reason, it's it's, uh, it's kind of going off there. And uh, let's let's do this. So you should get some kind of calm yellow highlighted. Um, that means your drivers are installed. If you don't have it installed, um, go install drivers. I'll have links to that too. 
Um, this is for right now Windows. I'll have another guide for Mac and Linux. Um, next, simply choose if you have if you just have one file. Uh, where do we? God, sorry. Um, if you just have one file, where did I download it to? Um, there you go. When you when you uh, when you download the wrong, if you just have one tar file, just choose PDA and choose that file. But if you have uh, three files, there should be one for PDA, something that says PDA, phone, and CSC. Um, select all those three and then hit start. But for me, I'm just going to use PDA and go find my file that I just downloaded, the tar file here. Hit open and then I'm going to hit start. And this should uh, begin the the uh, unrooting process, um, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. So there we go. It's gonna it's gonna get you complete. It should get you completely back to stock um, gingerbread here. Two point two three dot three for me here. Um, I believe this is a UK version uh, based on what I think here. Um, so it should take about ten minutes. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, uh, I'll be giving out a Galaxy S three unlock version. Um, I'll have a contest um, again, <laughs> free promoting on my own videos, and uh, this will unroot you. Uh, most likely, this will also erase um, your binary count. If if it doesn't, um, well, I walk you through. I have uh, this um, uh, dongle here. Actually, it broke. One of the wires broke, but um, I can still insert it and just touch it, the metallic thing, it should still work. But you can get uh, one of the, you know, already made ones on Amazon or eBay. Um, <clears throat> so, let it go through. And also, if you don't get uh, downloading mode and you get some kind of Sam Samsung keys, um, uh, that's actually the same thing as downloading mode, so you can put it on there and run Odin. Um, I get a lot of questions like that, and that's actually Odin mode also. That's what when it, what happens is like if it stops in the middle, and then you get that, but then you just try it again. Um, and also, again, it's all all of the i ninety one hundred stock files are compatible. So if you flash the wrong one, um, that at the worst you're gonna have you know let's say you you have a UK uh, Galaxy S two i ninety one hundred. At the worst, you might end up with Brazil or whatever, and you can try it again until you get the correct uh, stop one here. So there we go. It's almost done. RAM, SBL, alright, kernel. So this overwrites all your kernel, modem and stuff. Uh, let me change the camera angle, it's done, my phone's rebooting. Um, there's no no that star anymore, you can see. Um, that's what it's doing. Actually, I'm not going to change the camera angle. It's actually doing its own thing here. It's going to unroot. Um, this will pretty much unroot you back to completely back to stock. No one will be able to tell you've rooted your phone. Um, there we go. See the the exclamation mark gone, which means um, it's been wiped from your uh, download count, I think. But we'll go check it again. And it's booting. Let me change the camera angle here. There we go, it's booting. Um, you can take the cable out, obviously. You don't need it anymore. I'm just gonna set it here. Um, where's my orange thing? Oh, here we go. A lot of you were complaining to me that when I do a comparison video, I don't have a, my camera on overhead. There. That makes it easier, so I don't have to hold it. My screen's a little funky right now, so. Um, there we go. So it's booting. <clears throat> I believe this is a UK version. Um, so that model number, just try to take the first three letters or four letters. Um, you'll figure it out. There's two sites. The XDA one, they, it shows you how to identify the um, correct number. And then the other site, um, since the XDA, all after the mega upload episode, all of the stock ROMs were just zapped. And uh, good thing somebody got it up. Um, Samsung dash updates that site but um, you can pretty much see it's running gingerbread again um, we just gotta wait till it completely boots here and we're pretty much unrooted that was pretty easy right and to do it uh, with a uh, Mac or 
Linux, you have to use Heimdall. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, so I'll have another instruction set for that um, soon. It's on my to-do list. My to-do list is very long right now, so um, I'll do that soon. <laughs> Um, but uh, it looks like I'm kind of stuck on the uh, boot loop. I'll show you how to fix that too. Usually, um, if you give it, it's been what, three minutes? Um, it gets stuck there. Uh, what you can do, if you get stuck, uh, what you can do is let's go into the recovery. Let's check what happened to the recovery. So hold down the volume up center button and the uh, power button. Hold it down until um, it reboots into your recovery, stock recovery. It should now have stock recovery, I think. I'm not sure if clock remote stock recovery is still there. Yes, so I've got stock recovery. Uh, and go to wipe data factory reset there. All right, hit the center button and say yes. This will uh, clear all your apps and data and settings, although it, uh, flashing the stock run probably did. Um, but we're going to do it again. That usually fixes everything. And then, um, actually, no, let's go check if uh, our download count's been uh, done. So hit volume down, uh, center button, and the power button together for about 10 seconds. Let's go check if um, our download count has been um, zapped. Then we don't have to use a dongle or whatever. Oops, and hit volume up. Um, so I still got download count uh, at two counts. So let me try to actually reset it using my um, thing here while we're at it. So I'm gonna insert my, um, what is it? The the uh, jig, this is called a USB jig. And since these this wires are broken, I'm just gonna have to kind of do that. There we go. Um, as you can see, it wiped the binary count, and now I can reboot. Um, there we go. So they can't tell that I've actually flashed any cu uh, custom binaries. And then let me reboot. And this time it should boot fine. Um, is that booting? What happened? There we go. There we go. So we're almost done here, folks. And uh, hopefully, crossing my fingers this time, it will boot. But I, I'm pretty sure I've done this like a bunch of times. Um, I'm your expert host. Uh, I'll just, I'll just let the video roll so to show you because sometimes people are like, "Oh, you swapped out the video. It didn't really work. Did you fix it, or probably not." Did I fix my dongle here. The wires. So any minute this should uh, boot up. And uh, that factory reset, you will most likely have to do. Um, that's what happens when you, you know, install the custom ROM again. And I give it another 10 seconds, I bet. It will work. Um, voila! There we go. Uh, let me hit change language and see what it is. So it is on UK now. Um, and hit the center button, skip. Next. So we've got stock recovery. Uh, we erase the um, the count. Um, usually you don't have to. They, there's people at the phone store. They're not gonna. Even, they don't even know how to get into Odin usually. Um, but if they do, and I got my HSDPA there already. Um, there you go on my AT&T card. Um, let's go to menu settings and uh, about phone. 2.3.3, I'm back on XWKE1. Even though this phone's actually not a UK version, it's a Brazilian version. I just I just installed it to show you. Um, actually, let me connect it to the Wi-Fi and let me see if I can do over the air update to ICS on this. All right, here we go. Um, so what you wanna do, hit go to settings. Um, and uh, if you go to about phone, uh, make sure you're in your Wi-Fi so it downloads, doesn't use up your network. Go to software and check for update. Oh, pff, I have to register a Google account. Hold on, just let me do that. Next you can go to um, settings again, about phone, and do a software update. And check for update. And uh, it's asking me for a Samsung account. 
No, I don't want that. Check for update. Um, hmm. I might have to sign up here. Let, hold on, let me sign up. Alright folks, so I've signed in, um, now it's connecting to server, and I should find the latest update, um, but it says no. no. Well, you can always um, return it like this, um, since it's it's stock, you know, it doesn't matter if it's on gingerbread or, um, uh, you know, ICS, um, but that's how you uh, unroot back to your Galaxy, unroot your Galaxy S2 back to stock. Um, gingerbread or ICS, if there's another ICS version, you can also um, do that. Um, anyway, that was how to unroot your phone. Um, if you like my videos, um, um, and if you have a Galaxy S2, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS2root.com where we update you uh, once or twice a week with text hacks and more. Uh, my next video is going to be how to dissect your Galaxy S2 and um, assemble it back together. Um, just in case you're, you break your screen or something. Um, and if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. Um, subscribe button up here. Up here, if you have, thanks a lot. Um, and uh, see you guys all later. And stay high on Android. I gotta take this call. See y'all later.